Hey guys, Kyle, the Death Knight of Anime here, bringing you my review for My Hero Academia Chapter 286. And to start off with, the, 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 well, pretty much this time, I, I, I basically, I, I, it's not going to be as uncontrolled. This time I actually have notes jotted down and a little more coherent to talk about with this this chapter. Um, okay, so, and, and honestly, there's a lot to talk about, so let's, so easing into it, let's talk about Bakugo. And overall, just based on this chapter, I think the consensus for me right now is that he's mostly going to be all right. You could say that the jury is out on whether his quirk was stolen, which it's, again, it's debatable. I don't think it is, but, but frankly, well, pretty much going back to what I said last chapter, I'm more concerned about Bakugo's injuries right now and how long-lasting those will be, because, again... Those tentacles, the, the, he, he, because again, Bakugo, he got pierced through, he got pierced in the spinal area. He, he, even if he's alive, he, he, his, 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 his spinal area has more than likely taken some damage. Has more than likely taken some damage. So from here, it's just a matter of determining whether we're talking, in terms of the damage to his spine, whether we're talking severe permanent damage, like the kind that'll, that'll leave him like, like like pretty much d disabled from the waist down or just made or just major injuries with injuries with long last with 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 minor but still long lasting damage uh just just kind of just kind of like like the very first time that izuku had severely injured himself when, when fighting todoroki in the sports festival i'm i'm imagining that th those are the kind of injuries that bakugo is going to be facing right now and it's the one and it's it's the latter I'm personally going with because I don't think Horikoshi would permanently will pretty much take Bakugo out of play, but at the same time, that would be the best way in order to show, again, that would be the best way to show the consequences or just how careless he and especially Izuku are because the, the one thing I've found with um the, the one thing I found when it comes to Horikoshi is he, he's really good. At pretty much, at pretty much showing how, how, how at, sh at showing the pretty much weight and the consequences of the actions of our characters. And in this case, I, th I think, I think the consequences, e even if, even if they might not seem severe on the surface, th they are going to, I think, have long-lasting consequences for Bakugo. And in this case, I, I think he's, I, I think he's still going to be able to walk, but he's probably going to end up with, with, with some damage to his spinal area. I think. Um, Speaking of Izuku, this, speaking of Izuku, like, this really gave that little flashback from last week, this chapter gave that little flashback from last week quite a bit more perspective, because at this point, I don't think Izuku's just going to walk out of this with a few broken bones, or hell, even just his arms. Like, just from the display in this chapter, and how... Much, how much power Izuku is tapping into with his quirk right now? I think, I think, I think from I think from that, that 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 one for all is actively destroying him from the destroying him and his body from the inside out. And I'm not sure how. Like, I'm not sure how he's gonna walk away from something like that. Like th this, th this literally is like if you really look at what's happening to Izuku in this chapter, his his whole being is being destroyed in some way, and he, whatever. And I don't think he's gonna be walking out of this. I think he's he. I think it's safe to say he's once everything is said and done, he he's definitely gonna be walking out of this with more than a flesh wound this time. I don't know. He's definitely going to be walking on us with more flesh wound this time. I don't know how severe, how severe the damage is going to be, but it is going to be severe. Like what's what's happening to Izuku is not natural. It is, it is actively like, I I think we even though we're, we're I think it is actively like pretty much wrecking his entire body in itself. And I I don't know how, what he's going to be like when this is when he gets out of this. Like. It's it's definitely gonna be something that uh, that isn't gonna. It's definitely gonna, gonna be more than, than just like I said. It's definitely gonna be more than just a few broken bones or just some broken limbs. Like, it's 
the, the damage is going to be severe for Izuku for sure. Way, way more severe than, than Bakugo, I think. Um, and, and I don't know who was speaking, whether all, it was all for one or Shigaraki, but either way, the line about needless blood being spilt, once again, it isn't necessarily wrong. I mean, I know everyone are in this case are are everyone in this case is willing to well prince, prince gladly like prince lay down their life but at the same time out of out of everyone who's basically pretty much pretty much fought like, like prince shigaraki up to this point izuku is the one who's been acting the least like a hero and has like at this point, Izuku has more or less been consumed by this pure desire to defeat Shigaraki, which it, it's it's caused him in order to lose sight of the bigger picture, and and how he's acting a lot, and how in a lot of and it's caused him to act a lot more recklessly, while at the same time, in an ironic twist, in the same time, in an ironic twist, just like like for Shigaraki. In in his in in his desire in order to in his desire in order to defeat like like Shigaraki, he's given himself to his quirk. He's let his quirk consume him, and and by doing so, but by letting his quirk get out of control, that carelessness did in some way cause what well, Obakugo's current predicament. I mean, I I know his quirk right now has only went like like pretty much. Like pretty much full on ballistic after easy after after Bakugo got injured, but yeah, his he, he's basically lost all control of himself right now, and and like I yeah, I don't know what how Izuku gets again I don't know how Izuku get get well, open gets out of this with 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 himself his sanity his body intact like this is. This this is gonna change things for sure. Um, of course, of course, the, of of course, the, of course, the battle in this chapter isn't just a physical one, though. As we also see, it move to the minds. As we also see, the battle move to the mindscape where where Nana and supposedly the other former wielders are about to <clears throat> are about to gauge are about to engage all for ones. I don't know, presence, spirit, whatever you want to call it, in battle. And one thing to gleam just from this setup in itself is that this battle of the mind, it's its definitely set up right now that this battle happening within the mindscape is going to determine whether One for All becomes a part of All for One again, or or, or basically if 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 from Izuku can can from can from can 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 if he's going to can 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 retain well over over can finish retain control of of one for all like th this battle that's happening in the mind is going to determine whether or not izuku can can, can retain control of the quirk or if it becomes or if or if all for one and and shigaraki whoever get, is in control at the time whoever ends up becoming control the the main controlling person at the time is going to become whether that whether one for all becomes part of them again. So yeah, and <clears throat> but 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 yeah, as as I said, a, a, another part of this battle too is is not only w whether or not all for one wh whether or not whether or not one, one for all becomes part of all for one again, but in in a lot of ways you, you can see that that just like Izuku, Shigaraki is Shigaraki's control is wavering more and more. And you can see how all for one is is more is starting to consume Shigaraki more and more. So th th this battle is also, I think, going to determine whether or not all for one is is going to completely consume Shigaraki completely, or whether or not Shigaraki can can maintain some level of control. Um, the other thing I hope we do dive into and really want to know is what Nana meant when she said that Izuku can't move in this realm yet and what exactly the conditions are and what he ha and what Izuku has to do in order to move freely in this mindscape because right now with with the way this setup is I genuinely believe that all roads right now are going to lead to Izuku well, pretty much losing one for all unless 
if if he can't learn to tap in if he can't learn to tap into this world and 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 and, and learn how to and, and learn how to maneuver and use his power with, within this world because if if he can't then yes he is going to lose his quirk i i think that's going to be the deciding factor now of how how quickly izuku can learn to tap into this like mindscape world and and use and and move freely in it i think um now one other minor but i still i think still important detail is we see the other heroes and students on the way to back up izuku and through that we do also get Ochiko's inner monologue and her reflecting on everything she and the others have, ex have experienced up to now. And I know I sound like a broken, ro broken clock, broken record when I say this, but really this is just more reinforcement that there's really no other direction for, there's really no other direction for like Ochiko's character, Ochiko's character and the whole thing of, of, easily, of, of one for all to go other than for Izuku to tell her, Todoroki, and maybe even Ida the full truth about about his quirk and, and the secret that All Might has been keeping from the well pretty much from them as well. And like like that like everything that's ha all, all, every, every all, just a whole just too much it's one of those things where too much has happened up to this point for him and All Might to just laugh it off and pivot from telling the truth. This is something that Izuku is going to have to face now. Like it's the, the, there's so much that Izuku has to face in this chapter that I'm like, yeah, it's uh, this the, this the, this this is definitely one of those chapters where it doesn't matter what happens from it doesn't like where this chapter has put Izuku through the ringer, and no matter what happens, he's going to continuously be put through the ringer even beyond this point. So. Yeah, um, with that said, guys, that's all I got for this review. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and unless you're Crunchyroll. Death Night of Anime, signing off. Later, guys.